Hi, this is Stu Miniman of Wikibon.org here with SiliconANGLE TV's continuous coverage of EMC's vSpecs launch. And joining me today to talk about the channel in vSpecs are Colin McNamara from Nexus and Don Hoppick from Ingram. Guys, Hi. welcome to theCUBE. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having us. So, it's your, your first time in theCUBE, this is where we look to extract information and, and share it with the audience. Uh, first, Colin, could you tell us a little bit about your background and uh, what brings you here? So, my background 15 years in technology uh, from a range of uh, networking store, networking solutions, storage solutions, virtualization. Uh, I direct the data center practice at a company called Nexus, an integrator. What brings me here today is uh, we've been working together with the EMC and Ingram to kind of product ties a lot of these uh, spec-based solutions and uh, been uh, very excited about how vSpecs can uh, change our business and change our customers' business. Great. Don? Uh, Don Hoppick. I've been with Ingram Micro for 14 years and I lead our data center uh, storage business unit. It's our advanced computing division and uh, Lead a team of 30 people that are focused on this market. Okay, so so you're, you're the distributor, and Nexus is one of your bars. That's correct. Uh, how how long has the, the relationship been going on there? About four years now, I believe. Yes, four years. Okay, great. So, Colin, Colin, let me throw it back to you. You've worked with Cisco UCS for quite a long time. Absolutely. Um, can you talk a little bit to uh, the kind of the evolution that you've seen, and what does this announcement mean for how you deliver products to customers? Well, it's kind of interesting. You know, it was uh, actually me, Scott, me and Scott Lowe were the first people outside of Cisco to get briefed in on UCS, and it, uh, it signaled a change in the in uh, how uh, how every Cisco partner went to market. You know, it used to be about route, route switch and phones, um, but it really it triggered an evolution of uh, this multi-manufacturer uh, product set that uh, it had, frankly, a bit a bit of drama in the compute space. So uh, how it's, how it's changed over the past couple of years, you know. A uh, VC company came out and tried to answer, answer a problem of uh, how to productize a solution to make it simple, consumable by the channel sales force as well as the customers. Um, obviously, there's other manufacturers that create similar solutions out there. Um, what I'm really excited about with the vSpecs launch is it provides a middle ground. You know, over the past decade and a half of, uh, of helping customers design their Cisco technology as well as other uh, storage and systems technology, um, we've really centered around the reference architecture have, have a, a centered point of discussion that allows us to say, okay, we know this works for this amount of users to this scale. Let's take this as a starting point and add in new requirements. You know, vSpecs allows us to continue selling and designing solutions in ways that we've all been comfortable with selling. Okay. So, so just to follow up on that, Colin, it, it sounds like you really started from the network side of things and expanded into a full data center offering. Is that fair? Uh, yeah. It has, so has the, your kind of network methodology had an impact on how you design things? Well, you know, oddly enough, engineering is engineering. Okay. Right? So simple thoughts like drawing things, planning, capturing requirements, and designing to those requirements, I think are, are, are core tenants. Um, there's been a notion, especially before, you know, before 1999, 2000, I think voice over IP put a lot of network engineers in the position of having to learn uncomfortable and different things. Yep. Um, and that trend has been continued over this past decade with uh, server storage, virtualization, um, big data, and analytics. Um, I, I, I think that, to, to answer your question though, I take a lot of the fundamental skills I, I've learned in network architecture and design and apply them to system storage and virtualization architecture and design. Great. So, so Don, could you, could you comment on kind of EMC's maturity in the channel space? Oh, they've, uh, they've gone a long way in four years. And, All right. Uh, you know, a couple iterations of uh, uh, rules of engagement have helped, and uh, ultimately, it's it's best for their business. I think that this is going to be truly a, a, a launch pad for. Uh, the year of the channel, like Greg mentioned, Greg okay. Ambulos. How much engagement did you have with EMC from the vSpecs architecture? We've been working with them for approximately six months, and ultimately we did uh, announce uh, Ingram Micro V Bundle, which is uh, reference architecture last year in May. So uh, we worked with that same core group. This is kind of phase two as far as we're concerned. We helped prove out in the kind of a beta type phase. Okay. So it, it's technically been going on for about a year and a half. Great. Good. Colin, did you want to comment on EMC in, in the channel? You know, uh, it's been an evolution. So I, I think every uh, EMC as a storage van vendor is incredibly relevant. Um, it has great products, uh, a wide range of product lines. Um, in the past, I had a direct model. And now, for EMC to be successful in the long term, they, you know, I believe they have to really partner with Cisco. Now, Cisco's success has been hinged upon their channel model. 
Um, uh, they have to make that turn, and it, over the past couple of years, you know, it's been hard for EMC to do it, but they're making uh, very tough strides. You know, sometimes baby steps, sometimes large steps like V-Specs. So, so Colin, it's my understanding that uh, Nexus really focuses on Cisco for the compute standpoint. Does, does Ingram Don just do Cisco, or do you support uh, multiple compute platforms? We support multiple. Okay. Yeah. So I, I guess one of, the, one of the questions I have looking at this announcement is, you know, if Cisco was here, they were on stage, you know, do you have any kind of thought or feedback as to where you see the other compute platforms fitting into this architecture? Well, Ingram Micro supports multiple compute platforms, but okay. at the same time, I agree with Colin and how EMC needs to leverage Cisco. Okay. That's, that's a key. Well, if you, in my opinion, if you look at What's the problem we're trying to solve here? Yep. We're, we're trying to decrease the time to market, lower the risk of design, and frankly, make sure that what we design with our customers, our manufacturer, manufacturing partners, and our VARs actually works. And if you look at the Cisco solutions with the virtualization partners as well as with, with the EMC, it works very well, right? So anything that can help drive the discussion um, to that, I, I think is good for everyone involved. Great. Uh, one of the other things uh, we, we talked about a little bit earlier off camera uh, was really uh, maturity of how fast we can get these solutions to market, how we design them. Um, you know, Colin, could you share a little bit of the, you know how do I go from gathering those customer requirements to implementing fast? You know, what what's, what do you see going on in the marketplace? Well, you know, there there's been a move in the market to reference-based solutions around server storage and virtualization. Um, it it uh, creates a, a less confusion in the design cycle. You know, anytime you can distribute information and, and educate everyone involved, whether it be the customer, the manufacturer, or the VAR, onto here, here's how things plug together and we know that it works. What it, what it provides is a, a, a centered point of discussion where when you come into a design meeting, you're not arguing about you know, how theoretically things could go together. You're saying, okay, we're going to use this as a starting point. Now we're going to capture all these requirements and, and really get to solving the problem quicker. For Avars, it solves problems of a uh, shortness of sales cycle. And for the customers, it, it solves a very, a very specific problem of, uh, of making sure that the infrastructure that they design isn't a science project. Okay, so yeah, absolutely a, a key trend in the marketplace. EMC is playing a strong role here. Others in the market are also delivering these solutions. Correct. And competing in this marketplace is, is really going to help everyone. Absolutely. Uh, so, Don, you know, wh wh where does the distributor's role, you know, how, how, is, how has your role really changed um, with uh, kind of these new solutions versus what, what you did maybe just a couple short years ago? I think it validates our role. Okay. You know. We, we still do what we do. We support our partners. We're aligning our strengths with our partners and making sure that we're, you know, listening to the voice of the end customer and trying to solve those problems. Okay. What what, what is what's the effect been on your staffing of, of, of Ingram? With this announcement? Yeah. No. I'm I'm saying just over the, this trend of convergence. Is the skill set changing? Um, the relationships to the vendors. You know, where you add value into the into the chain and where you charge. Is that is that affected? Sure, yeah, we, we're adding more and more value. We're okay. investing can, can, more and more in this. And just a little color, like, where, where's, the, where's the new value that you gain uh, uh, from this kind of technology? Well, for example, with our Ingram Micro Training Academy, we do okay. Cisco, Citrix, yep. Microsoft, VMware certifications for our customers yep. and for, the, you know, for our partners and their customers. Okay. Are, are, you, are you, in your training, do you kind of cut across silos for some of these converged solutions? or? That, that's something that we've been looking to do with vBlock, yep. and, and obviously there'll be an opportunity here. So we're looking at, can we provide uh, certification training, uh, you know, a, another level of partnership with vSpecs, you know, versus right now the barrier to entry is very low. Okay. Um, okay. Colin, did you have a comment on that? Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting. You talk about the, uh, the cross-turning of engineers. You know, what's necessary to deliver a solution today is not having the best storage guy, the best virtualization guy, the best compute guy, the best network engineer, the best voice engineer. Uh, to be able to deliver, uh, you know, VDI, VXI is actually seeing so much interest and actually movement with our customers right now. If you want to change the way the person experiences a, a, phone, a phone that does video, that does virtual desktop, you change their endpoint in experience, you have to have engineers that can design across the spectrum. So a lot of a lot of the the investments that I made that uh, uh, Nexus has been making in, in our staff, you know, we have 464 employees, 250 of which are technical, has been sending many just swarms of engineers uh, to training to become bilingual, 
to be aware of these cross-platform solutions. Um, having a partner like Ingram with their training facilities and their support has been key and critical to our success in this. And I think it's key and critical for a partner to be able to um, utilize, to sell V-blocks, to sell V-specs, but really to solve that the next, the next problem that our customer is trying to solve right now. So, Don, last question I have for you is, do you see this as incremental revenue for what you're doing? You, you've done some of these pieces. How does this help you grow your business? I, I think there's going to be incremental revenue because it helps us to penetrate the customers, our, our customers, our partners, Salesforce, and get more people that are focused on attaching to what they know well. So where their strengths are, they can pull along more opportunity and solve more problems. Okay. So, so Colin, my, my final question for you is, you know, this is first iteration, kind of 1.0 v-specs. You know, what do you see as really the white space in the marketplace? What's the opportunities to kind of mature this solution? You know, what are customers telling you that they, they need to be able to uh, adopt technology faster and, and be more, uh, more lean and efficient? Well, right now, the, are the, the discussions from the customers supporting a couple key initiatives. Uh, one, bring your own device. Okay. The ability, if you look at the partners that EMC has chosen in here, there's a wide range of partners that can support this. You know, um, the, uh, the, other, the other side of it being that VDI, VXI play. What I, you know, I was talking to Wendy at Cisco about this, what I'd love to see evolved out of this is a larger reference architecture which takes into account those components on the end, right? The network and wireless connectivity in, in the middle. Because reality, we, 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 we always have to remember, the solution isn't just the thing in the data center. Right. It's everything that's necessary to solve the problem. So I would hope to see um, this reference ar these reference architectures expanded to take into account the entire solution necessary to deliver these. Okay. Uh, any any finding, final notes, Don? That's good for me. Uh, Colin, do you have a, you have a random sports uh, you know uh, thing for us to talk about? I'd say boom goes the dynamite. All right. So uh, Colin <laughs> and Don, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we will be back shortly with SiliconANGLE TV's continuing coverage of BMC's VSpecs launch.